guys, it's Top Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add custom photo or video overlays to your YouTube videos in Windows Movie Maker. Excited? Well make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications and hit that like button. Let's get to the video. Okay guys, we are at the desktop. Now, first thing you're going to want, going to, want to do is open up your Windows Movie Maker. Now, there is a side program that you do need. I'm sorry, but the Movie Maker itself cannot support visual overlays. So there is a program you will need to use, but Movie Maker accepts the file after it's been overlaid by this program. Now, the program, there'll be a link in the description. It's called Expression Encoder 4. You may have heard of it, but if you haven't, I will show you how to download it. Open up any of your browsers. I'm using Firefox, but you can use whatever you please. And search Expression Encoder Oh, whoops. Expression Encoder 4. Now, when this loads, it should be the first option. Yes, this is it. If you guys can't find that, just click on the link in the description and it will work for you. So, after we're here, what you do is you select your language. And then you click download. I'm not going to do this because I already have it. But if you guys need a tutorial on how to download this, just let me know in the comments. Alright, so after you have downloaded it, you can close your browser. Close this. And you, if you can't see it on your desktop, just like me, because my desktop's a mess, you can click home. And then you can click Cortana. And then you can search Expression Encoder 4. Here it is. So what you want to do is you want to click on that. And it should come up with a screen like this. After it has loaded, it should take you to a page. If you want to, you can read through it to see if you want to pick that part. See? You can get started, it teaches you some stuff here, but I'm just here to show you the basics. After you can select this if you want, but when you first join, you will have no projects. So after you read that, if you, yeah, just click OK. And it will open up the Microsoft Expression Encoder Editor. And once that's open, you have to have your footage ready. After you do that, you want to click File, you want to click Import, and then you want to import whichever video footage you want to use. I'm going to probably import a Capture 2. So, as an example, I just imported Capture 2, and here is the normal video. I'm doing something awfully strange. Okay, after you've seen the original video, say I wanted to add a subscribe button right here. First thing you want to do is you want to click on enhance. You want to go down to visual overlay and hit add overlay. After you do that, you'll be taken into files. You can use a video or an image. It doesn't really matter, but I like using an image. Now, if I just find my subscribe button, oh no, if I just find my subscribe button here, should be here in one of these files. Here it is. Click on it. Make sure it's a PNG or you'll have an annoying background. If you want to know how to do get rid of green screens on here, just let me know in the description and I'll do a tutorial on that. So, open the file and as you can see there is a subscribe button up here. Now, you can make it larger 
you can shrink it. I think this size is good enough. Put it where you please. And then as you can see, it has now got the overlay on it. And to prove you can do videos as well, I will show you. So if you want to change it, you can't add multiple layers though. If you guys would like to know how to add multiple layers of these overlays, let me know in the description because I do know a way around it. Anyway, to change this, you hit the three dots here and you're back here. Now, if you go to the, if you want, say I wanted to add, just go to videos, then I'll go capture two. If you wanted to add another file of capture two in the corner, but instead this one is a video. Now, as you can see, there is a video on the top corner, and if I click play, it should have two identical things. Now, here's the kind of tricky part. It's kind of, it's in exporting the file. I had lots of trouble with this, but I eventually figured it out. So what you want to do is you want to come up to system, go to encoding quality, and click best quality, and press apply. After that, you want to click encoding for devices, WMV, and then you want to click VC to Xbox 360 HD 1080p. After you apply that, you should get some strange zoom in. You might have to readjust your photo, but it does give your videos better quality. After that, you want to hit output. And then you can pick a thumbnail if you want. I usually don't use thumbnails. Now, here's the bit I struggled with. I wouldn't name it anything. You can... But you've got to make sure to add the dot and then the file extension you want. So if I went media, it would have to I would have to add the dot mp4 or dot wmv. But I'm pretty sure you have to buy a premium version to use mp4. Anyway, I would keep this the same if I were you. I had struggled with that finding finding a video to tell me why it wasn't working. But I'm here to show you guys to leave this like this. Okay, you can also save the job file if you want to come back to it and edit it. But after you are done, don't worry about any of this stuff. Go down to the bottom and click encode. Now, it will save. I'll show you where you can edit it. If you guys are having trouble finding it, just let me know in the comments and I will help you out. Now, as you can see, it's saved to this directory. What you want to do is you want to click on home here, Cortana, and then you want to type documents. So after you write documents, hit documents, open documents, go into expression, expression encoder, output, and it should be one of these. No, it's not this one. It's this one. So, it should have here another file and then your video file here. If I open this file here, it should play my video footage. I will play it for you now. As you can see, it works perfectly. Now, as I said in the title, yes, you can add it to Movie Maker, which makes things so much easier. It's not really in Movie Maker, I'm sorry to say, but this extension does really help because now you can add visual overlays in Movie Maker. After this finishes, you have your file. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you. Remember, if you have any questions, don't feel afraid to ask. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.